Hello, my name is Kayla Myers. Today I'm going to be giving a quick demonstration of the document retention module in Omni. Document retention manages the retention and disposal of stored documents according to predefined business rules per class of documents. The destruction process is initiated by the passage of time, allowing for automatic destruction and or removal from Omni. As a result, organizations avoid fines and reduce legal risk associated with expired content. Document retention is often the initial critical component of any completely automated records management solution. Let's first look at setting up document retention for the document type. In OnBase configuration, you would go to document, then select document type. For this purpose, I have created a document type group called document retention. This is not something you need to do. And let's select a document from here and select retention. You'll see I have a retention type of none, so this would not have any retention policy for it. Static, dynamic, and now in OnBase EP3 or later, there is a permanent. If I select static, I can then select my retention period. After so many days, months, or years, I have a date option, so I can use either the document date or the date stored. So let's just say after one year of the document date, this document will be deleted. So now that I've set up the document retention per document type, now I need to set up the processor. So again, in our on-base configuration, we would select import. Then you would find your document retention processor. You would want to create a name for this. And then we're going to create the retention process type of purging process. We can save this. We could then select our document type and all our settings. Okay, let's close our document retention. Let's go back to our document and our document type. And then again, back to the document type group I created. Let's do emergency contact form, retention. And now I can select dynamic. Again, I still want to pro provide a retention period, days, months, or years. And then I still want to decide if I'm going to use the document date or the date stored, or even a keyword value. Um, I would like to do date stored. So now I've created a dynamic retention on this document type, but there's a few more steps I have to do. In order for there to be a dynamic document retention, I have to first set up a document retention workflow queue. So if I go to Studio, you'll notice I have that set up here. So I have my life cycle, then I have my retention queue with my different rules and actions in order to identify if this document should be deleted. So dynamic document retention allows you to first review the document before it is purged from the system. So once I have my workflow queue, or I should say my workflow lifecycle set up, I then need to go back to my configuration, import, document retention processor, Again, I need to create a new one. And this time I want to create my evaluation process. Still need to select the documents. So you'll notice I'm only getting options for the documents where I selected that dynamic in the retention item when I was creating the document. So here now, when we go to our settings, this is where we would select the life cycle of that document retention. And the last thing I want to show is actually how to exclude a document from document retention. So as you notice, we set up everything by document type. 
but maybe we have a particular document that we want to make sure stays in the system regardless of the retention policy that we've set up. So with the correct permissions, I can log into my Ambias Unity client. I can select any one of my documents that I have document retention created for. And then once I select the document, I can right click on it and go down to our document retention and I can exclude from document retention or I can remove the exclusion from document retention. So maybe I put something on document retention because I know I'm going to need it for longer than whatever the retention period is. Um, but then once I'm done with that document, maybe I want to then uh, remove it from that exclusion so it does end up going through the document retention policy. I hope this session was informational for you. And if you have any other questions, please let us know. Thank you and have a great day.